Langkawi, also known as the Island of the Reddish-Brown Eagle in Malaysian language, is a group of islands located in the northwest coast of Malaysia. Its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and lush green rainforests make it a popular destination for tourists from around the world. Visitors can enjoy activities such as snorkeling, diving, kayaking, and trekking. No wonder this is one of the most visited destinations in Malaysia. It is separated from the mainland by the Straits of Malacca and is about 30 kilometers away from the mainland's coast. The island is accessible by ferry or plane from the mainland as well as other neighboring countries such as Singapore. We started our journey from Singapore Changi Airport and paid a quick visit to Sat's Premier Lounge before boarding the flight. Renting a car is the best way to explore Langkawi. Before arriving in Langkawi, we made a reservation to rent a car. The agent was already waiting for us in the arrival area with the car. After rental formalities, we head straight to the hotel. Upon arriving at Resort World Langkawi, which will be our home for the next three days, our room was not ready as it was only 10 in the morning. So we took care of all the necessary paperwork and decided to explore the hotel. first stop was the cable car Langkawi. It was an exciting experience for us as we rode on the cable car to enjoy the scenic view of the island. The total length is 2.2 km with a journey time from the base to the top around 15 minutes. It is approximate 30 minutes drive from Kwa Town and 15 minutes drive from Langkawi International Airport. There are three stations in total, base station, middle station, and top station. The middle station is at an elevation of 650 meter. The top station is located 708 meter above sea level. We also visited the Langkawi Sky Bridge. This bridge is 125 meters long and offers breathtaking views of the Andaman Sea and surrounding islands. The Langkawi Sky Bridge can be reached by first taking the Langkawi cable car to the top station. 
where an inclined lift called Skyglide takes visitors from the top station down to the bridge. Also, there is a natural trail offers an additional option for exploration. visit Seven Wells Waterfall, situated at about a 20-minute walk or five minutes drive from the cable car base station. Unfortunately, it was somewhat disappointing as the water flow was low. the day was Lamon Paddy, located in the heart of Langkawi. The lush greenery and scenic views make it a popular spot for nature lovers. Visitors can also enjoy traditional rice dishes and indulge in a cooking class to learn about local cuisine. to Keelum Geoforest Park for our private mangrove forest tour. Keelum Geoforest Park is home to mangrove forest and ancient gigantic limestone rocks formations rising from the riverbed formed around 500 million years back. Our first destination was the Bat Cave in Keelum Geoforest Park. This unique cave is home to thousands of bats. Visitors can witness the fascinating sight of bats flying in and out of the cave during the day. The next stop was the Crocodile Cave. The cave is named after the crocodile shape of the rock formation at its entrance. After Crocodile Cave, the next was monkey feeding. It was amazing to see them up close and feed them. During our trip, we had the opportunity to witness the spectacular eagle feeding. It was a thrilling and unique experience as we watched dozens of eagles swooping down from the sky to grab the food thrown by the local boatmen. of the itinerary was snorkeling at D'Angelo Island. The crystal clear waters welcomed us and we were greeted by an array of colorful marine life. Schools of fish, exotic corals, and sea turtles stole our hearts as we explored the underwater world. Truly, a memorable one.
the last attraction of the mangrove tour was visiting the icon of the Killam Geoforest Park. The icon is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the park. After an amazing mangrove tour, we had a delightful lunch at the floating restaurant. The atmosphere was serene and we enjoyed a unique dining experience while surrounded by nature. Our next destination on the Langkawi trip was Sandy Skulls Beach, located at the northernmost tip of the island. The beach was serene and unspoiled with crystal clear water and powdery white sand. The beach got its name from the numerous sand sculptures of skulls created by the locals. We spent hours soaking up the sun, swimming, and enjoying the panoramic views of the Andaman Sea. The beach was a perfect escape from the crowded touristy spots and truly a hidden gem on the island. We decided to spend our evening at Pantai Shenang, the most happening and lively beach in town. The stunning shoreline was full of activities such as water sports, beachside parties. The main event that we planned on experiencing was watching the sunset, and it was beautiful. the day with the most famous and delicious Arabian food that the town had to offer. The third day began with a peaceful and serene experience as I watched the sunrise from my resort. We have signed up for a thrilling island hopping journey which involves visiting several islands in the Langkawi. The first destination on the itinerary was Pregnant Maiden Island, an island located off the coast of Langkawi. This island named after a rock formation resembling a pregnant woman lying on her back. Headed to Pregnant Maiden Lake and spent some time kayaking around its calm waters. The scenery was simply stunning. Thick jungle borders the banks of the lake and the crystal clear water is a beautiful shade of blue. The island hopping trip was concluded with a visit to the breathtaking Baras Basa Island. Exploring the islands and beaches, we retreated to our resort for a rest. The highlight of our afternoon was a dip in the resort's breathtaking infinity pool with stunning views of the glittering Andaman Sea.
Despite heavy rain in the evening, we still opted to visit Eagle Square, also known as Dater and Lang in local language. Located in Qua Town and next to the Qua Jetty, Eagle Square is the place that reflects origin of Lankawi's name. The square is marked by a massive 12 meter sculpture of a reddish brown eagle, which is poised to take off. If you are looking for an adventure in Langkawi, parasailing should definitely be on your must-have list. This is a thrilling activity where you are pulled behind a boat sailing hundreds of feet above the water. You will enjoy breathtaking views of Langkawi beaches and Andaman Sea. Thank you for joining us on our Langkawi adventure. We hope you enjoyed the beautiful sights and sceneries of this tropical paradise. Stay tuned for more exciting travel videos. See you in the next one.